Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm just realizing this hat is way too big for my head, which is why I don't usually wear it. Oh my gosh, where to even begin? So the first couple weeks of April, I actually ended up losing my voice. So I don't know how it's coming across on the camera. Probably a little bit raspy and it's like an octave lower <laughs> than it normally is, but it's better now. And I think that's honestly because I did like five live streams in one week at the end of March between the Manifest Your Desire timeline, that three day workshop, and then I had two other live streams for the Inner Divine Collective, I believe. So I was just doing like a lot of talking and expending a lot of energy. And I also had the Cosmic Manifestation launch. So again, just like a lot of energy, right? And I, this is my body's way, apparently me losing my voice because that's the main thing that I use when I create content, whether I'm podcasting or I'm talking here on a YouTube video. So yeah, that was just a sign from my body, from the universe to take a break. <laughs> And I needed it. I actually, my voice came back the second week of April, so last week. And I still was like, no, I've, I've really been enjoying this break and I'm going to prolong it and stretch it out as much as I can. And so I'm feeling much better. I've also had a lot, just a lot going on during that time too. One of those things being a new addition to the fam. <laughs> if you're on my newsletter list, then you already, you already know because you, you found out earlier than everyone else. But I got a new puppy. She's sleeping. Well, she's not sleeping. She's resting. But you come here real quick. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. okay. Yes. This is Luna. And Yes, she is the sweetest thing. She, I got her when she was three months old, so I've actually had her for a while. I just haven't shared about her because I have just been enjoying my time with her. Hey, I just painted that nail. I just repainted it. You're so sweet. She is a Schnauzer Terrier mix. I don't know how big she's going to get. Her name is Luna. She's a Sagittarius and I love her so much. I got her around Ostara, so like March 20th time frame. I gave the whole story in my newsletter. She loves looking out the window and she loves taking my slippers. That's like her favorite thing, but she doesn't chew or destroy anything. She just kind of like takes it and runs around the house. <laughs> I know it looks like she chews a lot, but she just does this when she's playing. But her and Denali are getting along so well. Denali's such a good big sister. I have a lot of footage on my camera, so this vlog is probably going to be a lot of puppy spam, right? <laughs> yes, do you want me to put you back down? I, could, I didn't mean to wake you up. Oh, you're so sweet. I just love her so much. I love her so much. She fits in perfectly here at Casa de KM. And her and Lacey, I think they'll get along as she gets older and calms down some. Right now she just has like a lot of puppy energy and she's very excited. So Lacey's not too sure about her, but that's okay, isn't it? Look at that belly, look at that belly. I'm just gonna put her down while I tell you guys the story real quick of how I got her. And we'll turn it like this. This is where she sits. <laughs> so my desk has officially been taken over. Do you have your Irish mug of beer? Cheers. I don't know if I told you guys about how I ended up getting Denali, but it was in 2015 after I was driving back from my master's graduation from Texas A&M. And I actually got rerouted from the exit I normally take to get back home around like a Walmart parking lot so I was like rerouted and then that took me like it wound through this neighborhood that I had never been to before and of course as I was driving through the neighborhood it said free husky not free but it said husky puppies and I was like no way and so that's how I adopted Denali well I had something similar happen around March 20th time frame where I went to Walmart 
a different Walmart, right? <laughs> I went to Walmart and drove by this Jeep that had a sign that said free puppies. That's where the free came from because she was free that said free puppies. And I was like, you don't, you don't, Kristen, like you don't, you don't need another puppy. Like you don't need another dog. But Denali like does need a friend and they play so well together. So anyways, I went into the garden section, got a few things that I needed. Didn't even stop by the Jeep. I was like, I am not because I know if I look, I will end up taking a puppy home. Like I just, <laughs> I knew it. So I'm like, no, I was like, you know what? Okay, now I'm going to go to Dollar Tree, which is in the next parking lot over from Walmart and just grab a few more things for the garden because Dollar Tree has really cute garden stuff. And of course it's $1.25. So that's great. So I'm leaving the Dollar Tree and I just, something in me was like, you have to, you have to go back to Walmart. Like you have to at least just stop by and look at the puppies. It was like my soul was literally telling me like I could not go home until I stopped by. And I did and she was the last puppy. She was the last one. No one had taken her and like I said she was free and I would have paid for her though to be totally honest. Like yeah and as soon as like I held her I just knew she kind of like nuzzled right here kind of like what she was doing when I was just holding her for you guys and yeah I tried to put her down and she would not let me put her down and she would run back over and like jump into my arms and so that's the story of how of how I got Luna so it's been it's been a fun three weeks to a month having her she's pretty much already house trained so she already knows how to use the doggy door, which is really impressive because I was worried it was going to be a bit too tall, but she can clear it like she can jump and she hardly ever barks. She loves to play. She hasn't destroyed anything. She hasn't chewed on anything. She's so well behaved and I just love her. I love her so much. And a lot of this too was I've talked about how I've done inner child healing and I'm still doing inner teen healing and actually when I was a teenager I always wanted a Yorkie and it's just so interesting because while she's not a Yorkie she looks so similar to a Yorkie with like the little floppy ears and the type of dog that I wanted when I was a teenager so the fact that she was the last one the fact that she's a Sagittarius which is my moon sign Denali's a Pisces which is my north node and Lacey's a Gemini, which is actually my what my Chiron is in, which is really interesting. So actually in the house, because I'm a Taurus sun, we have all the elements. So we have fire, Denali is water, and Lacey is air. So now we are a completely balanced household, astrologically speaking. <laughs> that's, that's like one of my really big updates. I've been busy with her. She's reminded me to be very present. In life it's crazy once you have a puppy or you have something small and alive you know to take care of it just it I don't know it for me it's really grounded me and again it's reminded me to be to be very present so that is my little update on our family so you'll be seeing a lot more of Luna
Keep playing. Keep playing. It's kind of a scary sound, but I know. Because she's not yipping. We're sitting on the kitchen floor together. So we're doing. We hanging on the kitchen floor. Hello. Isn't you good girl? She's a good big sister. You're such a good big sister. writing unofficially for Camp Nano, like not really frequently, <laughs> if I'm being totally honest and not really consistently. Last night was actually the first night that I started to get back into a pretty solid writing flow with the manuscript that I started writing last November for NaNoWriMo. So I'm still working on that one. I'm obviously more than halfway done with it and it's getting to the good part. So I just really had to kind of remind myself, go back through my outline, read through a few things, re-familiarize myself. And so now I feel like I'm in a good place. There's a part of me that wants to go to Barnes and Noble. That's the other thing too, is when I got her, I was like worried to leave her at the house. Like I had a little kennel for her and actually I've been leaving her now with Denali. Denali's really like the alpha. So Luna just kind of follows what she does, which has been wonderful. And so I've left her out and about roaming the house. Of course, I close the doors to the bedroom and the office and any doors downstairs, but there's a gate that leads to the upstairs, which is kind of like Lacey's area that she's, she can't fit through. And she can't jump up onto the ledge either because it's too tall. But yeah, I just, the fact that she knows how to use the doggy door and is house trained, I have no concerns anymore. And then they both have a friend. So now I don't feel so guilty when I leave to go somewhere or run some errands because Denali has a friend now, which makes me happy. It's another day. <laughs> it's the next day to be exact. I've just been putting together the footage. I realize I never wear my hair up. It's always been down with the hat. 
but I invested in some banana clips and it's just so funny how the things from my childhood like from the 90s all of it's coming back into style so yeah got a banana clip in my hair I like it because it doesn't crease my hair normally I just have like scrunchies and stuff so dig in the banana clip there is a site feature that I'm super excited about it's with Shepherd. So I don't know if you've heard of Shepherd or not, but they're like Goodreads, but better. If you've been here for a while, then you know how I feel about Goodreads, like big swing and a miss. So Shepherd is great for discovering your next read. And so I was so thrilled when they reached out and wanted me to provide my list of my favorite dark and twisty fantasy books. So I'll leave that link in the description box below if you're curious about what books I would recommend. And also just go check out Shepherd, especially if you're also kind of not really feeling good reads for whatever reason. Shepherd is a great alternative. So of course, you know, let's let's support that. Again, I will leave that link in the description box below for you. Something else that I've I don't know what this section of the vlog is called. I'm like, here I am. I'm just going to share share some things that I've been enjoying. So Shepherd is one of them. The other thing I've really been enjoying, this is totally a book bow, but I've been keeping <laughs> my Nintendo Switch Lite in here because I don't have a case for it yet. So if you got my newsletter, you're like fully up to date on everything that we've covered in this vlog. So again, that link is down below as well if you want to kind of have a first look at everything, what's going on in my world, what's going on in my life, if anyone even cares. <laughs> but I got a Nintendo Switch Lite I gifted it to myself as an early birthday present because my birthday is on May 4th so it's coming up really soon here because I've just been seeing on TikTok like everyone obsessing over Animal Crossing and I just like I love playing Skyrim but I'm at that level where I can just defeat anything and anyone like and I don't want to start it over because I have I have so much skill right in the game so anyways it's kind of gotten a little monotonous, if you will. There's nowhere left for me to explore on the map. I've like fully beat the game, completed all the quests. I don't know if you could really say beat the game, but that main quest and many of the side quests, probably like 90% of them, I've done. There are some that have glitched where I literally can't finish them, but it wasn't the main quest, so not a big deal. Anyways, <laughs> that was my little rant, but I just... I don't know it's just been monotonous playing Skyrim so and I also just wanted something cozy so then I moved to Elder Scrolls online and I like that but kind of like with everything things you know once you play it for a while it's just like okay and then I was actually playing The Sims and that was really fun that was more of inner teen healing because I played The Sims a lot when I was a teenager like I was that girl on her computer until two o'clock in the morning I don't know how my parents didn't know that <laughs> I was up playing The Sims but just building houses and I don't know do it all the things in the sims and so that's been fun too because there's so many more options now but i don't know i've just always wanted like a handheld device and a nintendo switch has been on my mind and in my awareness lately so i got it started playing animal crossing i am obsessed with it it is the perfect cozy game and i also found this tiktok account i think it's called like her cozy games or her cozy gaming Oh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm sure if you, you search the hashtag Cozy Gaming, it'll pop up. But she also recommended this game called Witchwood, W-Y-T-C-H-W-O-O-D. So I downloaded that one as well. I haven't started playing it, but she just has this list of all these cozy games. And so I'm finding that this is a really good way for me to truly switch off my brain at the end of the day. And I like that I can just like lay in bed and hold it. I don't know, just there's something about holding it that is, I don't know, it just makes me feel really good. So that's my story about my Nintendo Switch Lite. And in the newsletter, I mentioned that 
as I play more cozy games, if there's anything worth sharing, I'll make sure to do that. And then as long as I can remember to do it in the vlog, cause I got a lot going on, <laughs> I'll do it here too. But that is actually going to conclude this vlog. I know that we didn't do spring cleaning, so that's something that's coming up. Oh, real quick, I do wanna show you the two things that I got from Typo last night that will definitely be making an appearance in an office spring cleaning vlog at some point. I don't know, is this gonna happen in April? No clue. May? Yeah, possibly. <laughs> but I got this collapsible laptop stand in storage. So it's extendable and it's in this beautiful like sage green color. It's more of like a pastel green, I guess you could say. But I just thought it was really cute and I kind of wanted something where my laptop can be up a bit higher. And then I've actually also seen on TikTok people who are getting these really clickety, clackety keyboards that light up and they're really cool. So I kind of looked at Typo and they had a couple but not the ones that I really wanted. So I think for my birthday that's gonna be another birthday treat. So that way I can use this stand and have my laptop up there and then just use the Bluetooth did I say Bluetooth or USB? I don't know, but the you know what I mean. <laughs> the Bluetooth keyboard to write and work on stuff. So I'm excited about this. Again, this will be making an appearance when I redo my office. And then because I bought this, I got this for only $3 instead of $10, which was really cool. And it's just a little phone stand. So it's like a purple flower and yeah, I don't know, I just, it's cute because I'm always setting my phone next to me and especially if I'm using like the forest timer, I don't know, it'll just be nice to have an actual stand to put my phone in. So these things, again, will be making an appearance sometime whenever I get my shit together and actually start organizing my office. So that's where I'm going to leave you. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.